Swing agitators promising a night of rage for the Supreme Court as Biden and the Democrats turn a blind eye. Barricades are going up around the building with the justices poised to issue their ruling on abortion either this week or next. The group Jane's Revenge issuing a call to riot against the top court if Roe goes. So far, there have been more than 40 attacks on pro-life groups in churches, and illegal protesting continues outside the homes of the justices. <coughs> Republican Senator John Kennedy blasting the left over the intimidation tactics. All of this is being driven by the anti-intellectual, um, crypto-socialist, woke left. When the draft opinion was leaked, the wokers' response was immediate. They said, we don't agree with it, so let's, let's burn the place down. Let's intimidate the justices. Let's intimidate their spouses. Let's intimidate their kids. What you allow is what will continue. And the Biden administration has embraced that. They, he's, I mean, you could say it's hyperbole embracing, but they ha definitely, by their silence, have given certain kind of an implicit consent. Yeah. What's next? I mean, do they, are we going to have to have Supreme Court justices move out of their homes and live in a yeah. compound? Maybe they'll have to go live in Europe. Yeah. Uh, where then they, can, they can just rule from there. <laughs> uh, I mean, I, think, I do think it's a little bit absurd that the attorney general has time to go all the way to Kiev mm -hmm. to talk about, he was there today, to talk about helping them ensure that there is justice, but neither he nor Biden can mention anything that is happening just 10 minutes away from their offices. Yeah. And there's been no deterrence, right? It, you, it, these protests at the justices' homes, they are illegal. Right. So, arrest one. Yeah. And have a little deterrence and show that there is going to be some pushback. If they're, not, they're not doing anything. So, what, what happens? Then all of these people are just going to continue to do it. And that's how these young women, those, those ones that are protesting yeah. there with the, you know, the blood on their pants and mm -hmm. the baby dolls, that's what the, they're being paid. To do, that's their summer job. You're right. This, this is what you're going to see all summer long. You know, Judge, I know this is petty, but I'm going to say what's good for the goose, which is something I coined, good for the gander. <laughs> I, wh why not have the personal info of the illegal protesters public put out their addresses? Well, it, it's this is just this is a microcosm of what's going on in the country at large. You've got the Republicans who, for the most part, you know, and, and January 6th is a little different. And I think we all agree that whoever violated the law should be prosecuted. Uh, but what you've got here is you've, you've got the, the Republicans who are not doing when they're in office to the Democrats what the Democrats do to the Republicans. And it's like um, in this case, you've got people yelling, we're going to, if you, if this decision comes down, that is, uh, that says that abortion is not a federal right, then we're going to burn the city down. We're going to tear everything down. It's, we're going to unleash the fury. And what we're going to do is we're going to hit the streets. Uh, you, we said we'd riot, and that's what we're going to do. That's what the left does. So in the summer of 2020, we have Black Lives Matter burning down the streets and media saying, don't believe your lying eyes. Summer of 2022, if this thing spins off the way they want it, the same thing is going to happen. All a prosecutor needs to do is enforce the law. Every one of those people in front of the justice's house until there's a decision is violating the law. Now, how do you do that? As a prosecutor, what you do is you go in and you infiltrate. You send someone in to Jane's revenge and you find out what is their MO, who is their leader. This is an organized criminal enterprise. This is a RICO. I mean, nobody's putting up those flyers for free. Yep. This is organized. Talk about a miserable so, undercover job. No. Like, it might be more fun to do, like, a drug drug cartel or the mafia, but, you know, I'm going undercover for Jane's revenge. But the bottom line is no one is stopping them. So the, the right is saying, go ahead, step on us, burn our cities, burn our businesses, burn our police precincts, go into the church. I'm Roman Catholic. Burn the tabernacle. I mean, this bothers me. And you know what? We're like, oh, okay. I don't think we're all okay about this, Harold. I don't think you well, are. Well, people in power are yeah. okay. What if we did this? What if me and Jesse decided to road trip, we were talking about this earlier, yep. to go right to Kagan's house and just set up a cooler of beer? What would yep. happen? Harold. Well, look, I, I'm, I'm not an advocate of violence. Uh, Nothing uh, violent for anybody. about beer. No, no, no. But I mean, I think, I think some of the things we're talking about, and if you guys want to do that, I think you should do it. I might join you. you, you <laughs> depending, on the beer you depending on the beer you might bring. The, there are going to be electoral consequences if uh, the court, if what we believe the court is going to do with regard to, to Roe. This is a 50-year precedent. 
unlike we've not seen, I'm 52 years old, we've not seen a case like this in my lifetime uh, that will stir the nation and have, that has potential to stir the nation like this. One does. This is not at all a justification, Your Honor, for, for any kind of violent acts. And I would agree. I think your recommendations around how to deal with this and perhaps infiltrating groups, all of that is smart to do. I was speaking with a, a Republican friend of mine, a great old pal of mine the other night, who was unaware, was frankly unaware of all that was going on around Roe and was surprised and said, look, she's a Republican. Well, she said, if this, if, this turn, if this is overturned, this is going to make me rethink. She was a big Trump supporter. It's going to make me rethink a lot of things. Now, having said that, there's, there's no excuse. I, I do hope uh, the Attorney General Garland, I hope the president and others, if this decision comes down like we think it's going to come down, will encourage people to protest peacefully, will encourage prosecutors to prosecute and enforce the law, uh, and I would hope that it would go on both sides. This is not just a Democratic problem. I saw some guy in Missouri saying he's hunting Republicans who's running for the United States Senate. I saw Dan Crenshaw get pushed up against a wall in his staff at a Republican event because, you know, we, we have this sense in our country now that if you don't agree with me, not only will I cancel you, I'm going to beat you. I'm going to physically beat you. I'm going I'm to impose violence on you. We all have to take a step back and understand that politics is fought at the ballot box. It's not fought on a person. It's not fought within violence on your, your political opponent. Finally, there's a great piece in the Wall Street Journal to, today about Sonia Sotomayor, the justice, speaking about Clarence Thomas. She said, we may disagree on things, but I like him. He's a, he's a friend of mine, and I understand what motivates him. I wish that everybody in politics would read that notable there in the journal today and try to apply that Mm. Uh, to, to those you may disagree with and those who you may have a, a permanent disagreement. Harold, I ran that entire, uh, what she said last night on my show, and did, did you a monologue on it. I'm sorry. At I, least I, I know I, some I, people don't watch my show here. <laughs> <laughs> Jesse, I'll yeah, try to I'll let sleep. that slide, but it All hurts right. me. It hurts me, Harold. <laughs> um, what do you think? I think the landscaping at Amy Coney Barrett's property is phenomenal. As someone that mowed lawns his whole life, I really appreciate how well that's manicured and seeded. <laughs> I think these feminists should be protesting in Chappaqua because the root cause of this decision is because Crooked lost to Trump. These were supposed to be her three Supreme Court nominations. Trump got them instead, and that's why we have this opinion. I think it was someone that said, I don't remember, Greg, elections have consequences. Mm, have you heard yes, that one yes. before? Back in the day, you had a president that got elected, and they might send you to the jungle to shoot at the Vietnamese. Mm -hmm. Now, if something comes down from this court... You might have to, if you practice unsafe sex, drive an hour across state lines to get an abortion. It's being overblown a little bit. Let's just keep that in perspective. The president still has not condemned any of this stuff. Silence is violence. I'll use that against him. And Garland's in Ukraine. As this case is about to be decided, what fly back home, leave Zelensky. He's got it covered. And get ahead of this thing. No one's ahead of this. You're right. You need to slip some female federal agents into this Jane's addiction Jane's revenge, <laughs> and, and, and pinch these guys before they can do yeah. anything. I think the FBI is, has a little hangover from the 60s and the 70s. They're afraid to infiltrate some of these left-wing groups because all they do is right-wing infiltration, and we know that. I would be able to do it myself. I'd throw on a wig. I'd get out there. We have hair and makeup people here. I wore wires on the factory. You get in, you get what they you have before they the explode factory. anything. I wore wires <laughs> in the field. And, and that's how you bust these people up. Do you know, I'm going to say something very selfish. You and I both know with our shows that if the D Days of Rage is going to create a lot of great tape. People screaming and yelling. I mean, we need some of that. See, for the, Greg, for, I, don't, I see the human angle. Yes. I don't see it as a TV producer. You know what? I now feel chastened. I feel I'm ashamed of myself. <laughs> you should be. I'm very ashamed of myself for what I just said. Yeah. I'm going to take... Can I ask you a question? No. I'm going to ask it anyway. <laughs> You just said Garland is in Ukraine. I know he's in Ukraine. And um, Biden's wife was in Ukraine. Everybody's going to Ukraine. Yes. What do you think they're doing in Ukraine? Uh, Why are all our leaders who like, won't go to the border yeah. are going to Ukraine? It's like San Tropez. It's like the hot spot no, no, to no. go. No, no, no. But why? There's, some, there's a reason. Because we want them to they be want, They want it to we look want like to they're doing something without actually giving him the weapons now, he there's needs a guy, to There's a motivation there. I don't know what Photo op of the century. That's All what right. that's about. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.